organic evolution session 6 na kwa nikipindi kichupita tuko na angalia kusu Darwin's theory tunaendelea hapa kuna study question hapa kwanza summarize observation deduction made by Darwin in his formulation of the theory of natural selection ukiangalia kipindi kichupita utaona hizo observation deductions kwa hiyo wewe nenda tu kaangalie au kishangalia basi nadhani zisome tu hizo uh, tunaendelea kuhusu Darwin's theory kwanza tuangalie development of long neck giraffe according to Darwin. Darwin aliziaje? Kama unakumbuka lama lama kilisema kwamba zamani tuko na tuna 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 twiga wenye shingo fupi pamoja na miguu mifupi ya mbele baadaye wale twiga wakawa wanataka kula majani ya juu. So stretching ikapelekea ni use and disuse ikapelekea ikapelekea zile neck zao ziwe long lakini pia tukitoa kwenye use and disuse la makikasemaje kuna inherent of acquired characteristics Darwin anasemaje basi kuhusu development of, of long neck giraffe according to Darwin both forms of giraffe the short and the long neck giraffe existed kwa Darwin anasema kwamba short na long neck walikuepo walikuepo toka zamani lakini nini kilitokea the following shortage following shortage of food on land environmental need they were all forced to feed on leaves of the tall tree that is struggle for existence kwa maana yake wote walitakiwa kula kwenye majani yale yako juu ya mti ambayo hiyo ni nini ni struggle for existence so the long necked giraffe were on the advantages side and they were able to reach the leaves where as short as in as where as the short necked ones were on the disadvantages side and they were unable to reach the leaves kwa long neck giraffe wale wa shingo ndefu waliweza kufikia majani ya juu ya miti lakini wale wa shingo fupi walishindwa kufikia. Kwa nini kilitokea hapo kwenye struggle for existence? Ikatokea nini? Survival of the fittest. Yaani ukitoka kwenye struggle for existence wanapopambana then wanao survive ni wale ambao wame wamefit. Wengine ambao hawajafit wanakufa. So the long neck giraffe won in this struggle for existence. That is survival of the fittest survived and this long neck the characteristics got inherited from one generation to another the disadvantage disadvantage the short neck the giraffe failed the struggle for existence and therefore natural selection operated against them so natural selection manake ni kwamba nature our environment it was select only long neck the giraffe they survived and the short neck the giraffe they didn't survive the because of natural selection kwa hiyo hilo ndio jambo ambalo unatakiwa unajua hapo kuhusu development of long neck the giraffe according to according to to darwin hasa unaona kwa mfano swali unaweza kuuliza compare lamarckism and darwinism in term of development of web defeats in ducks kwa hapo unatakiwa kueleza nini kwamba ducks wote walikuepo wale ambao ni web defeats na wengine ambao hawakuwa web defeats so due to following shortage of food on land manake ducks they were forced to go to find food on the water so wakati wanaenda ku find food on the water only web defeats ducks they were able uh, they were able to swim in the water while those with with no with nani web defeats they were unable to swim in water kwa wale ambao walikuwa migu yao haina web walikuwa wanashindwa kuogelea. Kwa hiyo baadaye wakafanyaje? Ikatokea kwenye struggle for existence ikatokea nini? Survival of the fittest. Wale ambao wako web ndio wakaishi, wale wengine wakafanyaje? Wakafa. So walivyokufa maana ni nature au environment ndio ma select. That is natural selection. So let's look about the concept of natural selection. Natural selection is the mechanism by which environment favors existence of those organisms which are well adapted to survive in it and opposite against their unfavorable ones. Kwa hii ni mechanism mechanism ambayo mazingira yanawa support organism ambao wanaweza kuishi kwenye mazingira hayo. Na yana yanasababisha wale organism ambao wanashindwa kuishi kwenye mazingira hayo wanakufa. Kwa that is natural selection. Wanakuwa supported organism ambao wanaweza kuishi kwenye mazingira hayo. Organism wengine ambao hawawezi kuwa kuishi kwenye mazingira hayo wanakufa au in other words tunaweza kusema natural selection is the mechanism by which an organism that is best suited to its environment will survive 
and pass on to its beneficial traits, increasing number to the following generation, while those organisms less suited to the environment will be eliminated. Kwa hiyo organism mbao best fitted to the environment wanaweza, yani wame fit kwenye mazingila, yu wana adaptations za kuishi kwenye mazingila. Hawa wana survive, na mbao hawana adaptation, wana, wana die, wana die, au wana kuwa eliminated. So that is what we call as natural selection. So natural selection affects the gene pool by increasing the frequency of alleles that give an advantage and decreasing the frequency of alleles that give a disadvantage. But the natural selection in affect gene pool. A gene pool we have talked about so much when you genetics. Gene, gene, kama gene to the many carry of characteristics. As a cause of natural selection, manake organism wata kwa kwa naishi kwenye kila generation ni wale ambao wako best adapted wale ambao wako poor adapted wata shindo kuhishi kwenye kila generation asa kitendo cha wale ambao wako poor adapted kushindo kuhishi kwenye kila generation generation to generation wana shindo kuhishi mwishu wa siku kitaka chotokea uh, kwenye kila generation kwa sababu organism wata kwa shindo kuhishi kwa hiyo organism wale wanao wendelea kuhishi ndo ambao alele zao au jini zao zaisha so natural selection is preceded by struggle for existence which keeps population in check. So struggle for existence inakwali kama vile inakagua. Organism wanaweza kuishi wanabaki. Wasioweza wanatolewa. Struggle for existence kupamba na katia kuishi. So the environment factors that keep population in check are called selection pressure or environmental resistance. Selection pressure or environmental resistance. Even though vitu ambao vinakua vinafanya organism flani waishi, wengine wasishi. Kwa mfano labda struggle for food hiyo ni nini hiyo ni environmental resistance au selection pressure kwa sababu hicho ndio kitakachosababisha baadhi ya organism waishi wengine wafe these include diseases competition for the unlimited resource predation and the lack of light water or oxygen change in temperature etc kwa different factors hapo zinaweza zika act kama selection pressure au environmental resistance those organisms best suited to the environmental condition will have the best chance of surviving in a struggle for existence. Those organisms who have undergo adaptation will be able to live in the world. The high naturality and rate of birth will give them a selective advantage. For those organisms who are best suited, they will have an advantage. On the other hand, those organisms which are unfavorable, with unfavorable characteristics are more likely to die. Kwa wale organismu mbao hawana sifa, watakufa. The higher mortality au death rate give them a selective disadvantage. Kwa hiyo wale wengine mbao kwa best fitted yu watakua na high natality, yani watazaliwa sana. Kati ya wengine watakua na high mortality, yani watakufa sana. How natural selection works? How natural selection works? Natural selection eliminates the frequency of those alleles that give an organism a disadvantage and favor the frequency of alleles that give an organism advantage. Kwa natural selection yenyewe ina favor organism ambao wanaweza kuishi na inawavunja moyo organism ambao wanaweza kuishi. Yaani wanakufa. Natural selection ni mazingira anachagua. Kwa ambao wanaweza kuishi wanaishi ambao wanaweza kuishi watakufa. So however the elimination of the alleles the elimination of the alleles does not involve does not involve the operation of the nature of the genotype kwa hiyo yani ile ile genotype inabakia vile vile genotype ya organism inabakia vile vile lakini alele ambazo zoezi ku survive zinaondoka for example if a person had the genotype hba then hb small a he or she will be bearing an alele for sickle cell. Manaka hapa this is sickle cell. Hapa hiyo nekani vizuri hapa ni blunt. Sickle cell anemia. But the nature will not operate against it in this phenotype. Kwa hiyo ni kwamba genotype ya kitapa kia vile vile. Yani kinacho wangalewa tu ni kwamba hiyo genotype imemwezesha kuish au ijamwezesha kuish. Kama ijamwezesha kuish atafanyaje atadai kama imwezesha anasafai however if the genotype is hbs hbs manake sickle cell zote the person will express the effect of the sickle cell anemia in the phenotype and therefore 
natural selection will operate against this phenotype and is so doing the frequency of this allele will be decreased in the population kwa hiyo huyu nani natural selection an affect an affect wale wale genotype ambao ata affected phenotype kwa mfano sa yani huo mfano rahisi ni kwamba kwenye GLF nao manake tunavyosema tol tol manake okay, unaweza kuwa kati capital T au small t asa capital T manake hiyo ni hiyo ni tol tai tol nekdi sasa maana kama ni tol nekdi huyo hata akiwa na ana genotype yake nyingine allele yake nyingine ni small t bado lazima atakuwa na shingo ndefu kwa hiyo hivi ndivyo ambavyo Darwin alielezea kwenye development ya long nekdi GLF Unaona hapo kuna twiga kama huyo hapa huyo hapa pamoja na yule pale wana shingo fupi. Kwa hao watatu wana shingo fupi. Hao wili wana shingo ndefu. So kinachoanza hapo ni nini? Inaanza struggle for existence kupambana. So acetro gilefs probably had next that varied in lengths. The variation were hereditary. Darwin could not explain the origin of variations. Kwa Darwin alisema kwamba hiyo variation ilikuwa ni hereditary. Yeye hajaelezea ilitokea wapi. Yeye anasema tu ilikuepo, ilikuepo ilitokea wapi hiyo variation? Hajasema, hajasema variation ilitokea. So Darwin ni moja kati ya weakness yake ya kuelezea origin ya variation. Lakini tuone nini kilitokea hapo baada ya struggle for existence. So kama ambavyo unaona hapo kwenye kwenye hii picha inayofuatia ni kwamba competition ilitokea, competition ilitokea na baadaye wale twiga wawili tu wenye shingo ndefu ndio wakabakia wengine wakadai kama unavyomuona hapa chini chola kumaanisha amedai so competition and natural selection lead to the survival of the longer necked giraffe a uh, longer necked offspring at the expense of short necked ones so zile short necked zote zikafa kwa hiyo maana yake at the end of the day eventually tukabakia tuna twiga wenye shingo ndefu tu So eventually only long necked giraffe survived survived the competition. So the figure above shows the origin of the giraffe's long neck by natural selection as proposed by Charles Darwin. Na kama ambao mmeona hiyo series hizo picha jinsi gani ambavyo zina zinaelezea kwamba mwanzo ulikuwa wote long and short necked baadaye short necked wa kafa due to struggle for existence. So it took a survival of the fittest walio fit mazingira yani shingo ndefu to survive natural selection ni act hapo. So natural selection ni hivyo act kama kiza wale ambao uh, wana shingo ndefu tu wale wenye shingo fupi wakawa wamekufa. So ni shia hapo kwenye kipindi hiki. Kipindi kijacho tutaangalia kuhusu strength and weakness of Darwin's theory of natural selection. Strength pamoja na weakness. Na tutasolve baadhi ya maswali. Thank you everybody don't forget to subscribe the channel and share the, the link for the video. Also the periods of the chemistry, physics and the mathematics will be uploaded in this channel thank you everybody let me wish you nice studies thank you